All right, guys. 2017 F350. It's got like 37 and a half thou on it. I bought it back the end of January and notice pretty quickly that the front and rear cameras are blurry. You really can't see a thing. So we're going to try and an old cell phone trick on them because I think it's from moisture and uh, just gonna dive into it removed all the little clips throughout this cowling I'll just use the screwdriver to pop them off because I don't have trim tools missed a couple back there I don't know if I can do this one handed or not. We'll try it. I'll probably drop it. This is probably my first video ever, so. But I do enough stuff on my own. You got to pick it up from the back first because that gets in the way. But I do enough stuff on my own, I figure. Why not start sharing it? So. Looks like. These probably have to come out next. And then if it's anything like my 15, that whole grill will just lift up. So let's try it.
gonna pull it, force it. Off to another YouTube channel, figure out how to get this grill off. Well, first failed video. I thought I was recording the whole time, but I wasn't. So I'll stick this back on there just for the sake of the whole point of this video and see if I can't show you. What I did was pulled out on the right and left side. You gotta use some force, but I used a long screwdriver and found the clips where they're at and tried to pry out as close to the clips. See the, those orange pieces? Pry out there on both sides. And uh, I think I lost one down at the very bottom. I'll have to see if I can find it. But then what you need a long screwdriver for is when you pry out, I stuck one back in so I can show you. But this clip right here, you gotta stick your screwdriver down in this hole and push in. There's four of them. Luckily, those are metal. So, and then your camera. Oh, we got another clip back in. Your camera and your camera cleaner were connected here. You pull this black sleeve off and that pops right back on. I put the black sleeve back on so I wouldn't lose it. And then this, you just push in on this tab. It was right there. Push in on that tab and pull it out. You're good to go. And then these are T20 torque screws. Pull those out. And then you can lift up on this. It's actually got an actuator for your cleaner, your camera cleaner. So I'm not gonna take that all the way off. I'm just gonna pull the camera out. So see how fuzzy and foggy that camera looks? That's about what the screen looks like, so. I'm gonna throw these things in a, in a bag of rice like I used to do with my cell phones when I drop them in the river canoeing or lose them in the snow and uh, see if we can't get these things to work. Part number, oh, that's upside down, there you go. You can find the part number on these things. It's uh. HC3T-19H222-DE for the front one. And wouldn't you know it, the back one's doing the same thing. It's a different part number. It's H3T19G490-DE both foggy so we're going to uh we're going to throw them in some rice and see what happens over the next day or two i did the back one also because you can't see a thing out of that one and it's pretty simple once you get it out it's got a little t20 clip also or t20 screw holding it in Pop that clip off. It's just four 10 millimeter bolts that you have access to. By pulling that out. So 
so there's one there one there and one there those two down in the holes are kind of a pain to get to but we got it so throw them in some rice and see what happens <laughs> 